what up gamers, it's Noon here, back with another run of Slay the Spy, this time we're at Ascension 17, and uh, I just wanted to apologize for the delay, this probably, I was hoping to uh, get this whole 820 thing done before I move next week, um, but that is definitely not going to happen unless I get insanely lucky, I mean sorry, ins unless I play extremely well, that's what I meant to say, um, so <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. So yeah, there might be some delays with the, the last few runs, but uh, let's see what we've got today. So the 100 gold start is always quite nice. We do have some early shops. We could just take a rare colorless card. Uh, I know you all know how I love Apotheosis and uh, Hand of Greed. Do you have these two early campfire starts? This one, there's only one elite. This way we could take one, two, or two campfires and then two elites here, or pop into the shop at the end. Quite like that. Not super tempted by either of these. I think I want the rare colorless card, and Master of Strategy is very strong. Uh, let's take that. I do like Metamorphosis, but uh, it is bad, so uh, I'm not going to take it. So I'm trying to win. Win! I'll take one here. Two strikes, please. Uh, that's not two strikes, and also two strikes wouldn't have worked. Whoa! Game bugging like crazy. I don't know what's been doing that. Uh, no one's mentioned in the comments if it's been lagging at your end or if it's just... Just at mine. Uh, so I'm gonna, how do we do this? It seems to be at the start of the game and then kind of chilling out a bit. So if you are getting mad lag here, uh, it should stop in a floor or two. Um, Iron Wave and Sword Boomerang seem like perfectly reasonable first picks. I think I'll. Hmm. I think I'll take the Iron Wave here. I think I just play the bash and take seven here, which is a little bit unfortunate, but... Not quite enough. That's right. Come on, Joe Worm. Don't be so mean. Now the Iron Wave seems bad, but a cleave is great, especially against Slime Boss. And we do get a shop here. Is it time for a Searing Blow meme run? We can get three upgrades. It's a bad, it's a bad choice, uh, but it is fun. And it's on discount. I'm kind of tempted, honestly. Um. You know what? It's silly, but I love it. So let's do it. And in that case, let's. No, we should we should remove. I was gonna say let's take armaments, but let's remove. We'll pick up an armament somewhere. We do have a shop coming up here, but I think we're just disagreeing here. And of course, you already know what I'm going to upgrade. 
just to be clear, this is a bad strategy, but uh, I enjoy fun, um, so that's why I'm doing that. The the searing blow thing. It's been ages since I played, so you know. It's better to kill that one first because this guy makes us vulnerable, and because this guy is in two strike range. Power potion is great. Uh, shrug seems pretty good. Searing blow two. Ink bottle is fabulous, thank you. Okay, well I'm glad I took this cleave, but bash cleave. Uh, I could searing blow cleave. I definitely want to play Cleave, right? And then this guy is going to be doing more damage, so we probably want to kill him. On the other hand, Cleave, Strike, kills the back guy, and then Shrug blocks. Let's do that. Block the front guy, block the front guy. No, that's the wrong guy. The wrong guy. rough. I would love to draw the Searing Blow here, please. That's not a Searing Blow. Um, so I can do 8 plus 9, which does kill here. Take 9. Um, and I'm just going to play any card before the Searing Blow so that we about counter. It's only by 1. I should have played 2 strikes there, actually. Seems like a bad use of the Blood Pot. On the other hand, Blessing of the Forge is going to be really useful against that Burning Elite, so let's do it this way. Double tap seems like a perfectly fine take for the Searing Blue. Okay, and we get Metallicize Lagger. Maybe I shouldn't play Blessing of the Forge there, actually. to get the ink bottle counter up. We have to wake up this turn. I think I'm going to play Master of Strategy here. So then we can do this. And in fact, let's do Blessing of the Forge here. Honestly, the Power Potion might be alright. Um, but I'm not super worried about this fight. Four times two is sixty-eight, which is what I believe they call a kill in the industry. There we go, perfect fight. Well, not perfect. We took some damage, but <laughs> rampage. The other bad meme card. We have okay draw, and double tap goes well with rampage. Ah, uh, it's so silly though. It's such a bad idea. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna do it. I one meme card per run seems fine. Card remove is 100, so we're not guaranteed to get a remove if we go here. So let's just take the fight.
Vein ink bottle drawer there. I'm just upping the ink bottle, but that's slimed. Shockwave seems quite nice. Let's take that. Two random cards for 68 HP? I think so. And the Master of Strategy is great. Searing Glow. Plus four. Absolute garbage hand. No double tap. It's a bit rude. Um, I just want to play this. Not the greatest use of a gambler's brew I've ever seen in my life. And we can just draw that. Game 35 is a fine split. Not too bad. Uh, getting absolutely owned is not what I would call a fine split, though. How much can we do here? Not enough to split. In that case, I think I want to attack this guy. Take 20. A little bit painful. Could consider playing the slime there. Just cleave, thank you. That's not a cleave. That's a cleave. Let's play something. Alright. It did take a big wonk, but not too bad. Kind of tempted by this juggernaut, but I'm not sure we need it. We can't take limit break, we have no strength currently. Fiend fire is interesting, but we have our damage solution already, so I think this is weirdly a skip. Maybe it should be a fiend fire. Okay. Honestly, this could be a busted crown situation. We have to take an energy relic, right? We've got three energy relics. We have our damage source, so now we just want like a million more shrugs, basically is my feeling. And more energy. We, yeah, we don't want to take more cards because we can't upgrade them. I think we're going to take the Busted Crown. Which, uh, I think really goes to show how one bad decision leads you to take more bad decisions. Um, so, let this be a lesson to you all. I don't think we are very good at Act 2 Elites. But we can take three upgrades here, and we can opt into an elite if we wish. Uh, card remove seems good. Let's get rid of a strike. We could also opt for some events. We've gotten one of our upgrade events. Uh... So there's definitely some decent stuff that we can get here. Upgrade Shrine in particular. Um, I don't really want Bites. Just a bit unsure about this shop. We only have money for a regular Relic or a card remove, so I think I want to go the other way. I don't think I want four combats, so let's do it this way. the ink bottle there. Nice. Good fight. Dark Embrace. We have one, two exhaust cards. 
And we're not going to get great card selections, so I think it's a skip. Plus, it's not upgraded. Excuse me, Thorn's Pot. Could I have a Thorn's Pot right now, please? power pot, but I think it's just shrug defend. Take three. That's alright. Cleave, strike, kill. 50% more, so 6 and 5. I think that's a no. I'm just gonna bash, defend, defend. Next turn. Just getting the ink bottle up there. Okay, that was fine. Not amazing, but fine. Hmm. I don't hate the seeing red, but it is unupgraded. It's a skip. I'm doing okay for energy. <sighs> Relic for a curse. Yeah, six percent to see a shop. We'll only have to fight one elite with the curse. I'm kinda tempted. I think let's do it. Yeah, nunchaku seems pretty good. Uh Huh. Triple the chance of finding rare cards. I'm not sure we honestly want that. we're only seeing one card at a time and the way that rare chances work is that every time you see a common card your rare chance goes up by one percent fairly sure that's how it works and that means that we're only going to be going up by one percent per floor and then going down by all of it every time so like we'll be like getting three three percent instead of one percent I guess that it's okay. There are some rare cards we'd like to see, like offering. But yeah, I, I think this is just a skip here. Nunchaku is quite good for us. Yeah.
Master of Strategy has been doing good work for us. So we can double tap Bash Strike, which is going to do 8 plus 12, which is 20 plus 9. It's not enough, but we can't really do anything else. I guess we could Bash Strike Strike. That is more damage, so what's that? 8 plus 9 plus 9. 18 plus 8 is also not enough. So I guess it's Bash... Strike plus. Oh, was that a double tap? No, it doesn't. That wouldn't have killed. Block, take 11. That's pretty unfortunate. And I'm just doing it this way. Oh, I forgot we've got Nunchaku now as well. That's a shame. Nunchaku and Ink Bottle being poorly aligned is kind of irritating. Flex? I don't think so. I would really like to smith this double tap, but I think the searing blow is just quite nice. If we take on this elite, maybe the double tap is better, honestly. We do have some more upgrades coming up. Let's do the double tap. It works well with both of our counter relics. Perfect. Yikes, my dude. You serious? You serious right now? I think I just have to play this and take the damage. It's pretty rough, but it's going to save us a lot more health in the medium term in this fight. Somehow our ink bottle and nunchuck are aligned. Ah! I could have played some more cards there, that's right. Bottled flame. Bottled searing blow. Do I want this power through? We do need a bit more block. Not a lot more, honestly. And there are some downsides to it, for sure. Up against the champ. I think I do want it. I think I want to smith my searing blow. Meal ticket seems quite good. Now, normally I'm a very big fan of... Uh, we could remove the Writhe. Honestly, that's not crazy. I think I want to upgrade all here. Really improves the quality of our deck quite dramatically. Chill 76 there. back. I don't think I want a Havoc. Yeah, I don't think I want a Havoc. Do we want to fight another Elite here? I'm worried about Gremlin Leader. Not great with Book of Stabbing, but the single target damage is fine. It's kind of close. Kind of close. I think we can do it. We've got two strong potions. Take this. Hit him with the Searing Blow. Hit him with the Fiend Fire. Uh, it's a shame that we get that energy back there, but it's okay. Yeah, 
this fight may have been a mistake. just kills here. Does. Do we want to play any more cards? Let's play an Iron Wave first. Eternal Feather. Sure, that's pretty good. It means our um, smithing is, is better. We now have a lot of healing. Alright, we got through that pretty well, honestly. Hmm. <laughs> Ceramic Fish is interesting. Sling of Courage is okay, but not amazing. Hard to move on the ride seems fairly essential. Buying ceramic fish is kind of silly, so we would need to take what, like... It, it, ooh, I can do maths. Like 20 cards, roughly? We're not going to take 20 more cards, probably. So let's not take the ceramic fish. Pay paying for a ceramic fish is silly. It's like paying for a, a hand of greed, except a hand of greed actually is like a good damage card. Deep breath is kind of interesting. Armaments is kind of interesting. We now have so much upgraded, though. It's a lot less valuable. It's it's really just for the searing glow, which does mean it's not upgrade debt really. But we're not drawing them together. Pardon me. All that often. Yeah, pretty weak shop on the whole. That's a shame. Nearly clicked rest there, but I'm glad I didn't. I think I just want to pop this power potion right now. Let's take a free barricade. It's a good start. What's the best way to do this? I wouldn't mind stocking some block here, but I think I just want to deal all the damage that I can. We do draw our defend here. Let's just do it this way. A little bit of block on us. Okay, 66. rough, but bash, searing blow, strike not quite enough. Maybe I should have used my strength pot here. Alright, well, we do just survive. I guess it's better than just survive. Uh, and this is doing 12, so I believe that should do it. Alright, go through there okay. Took quite a lot of damage. Impervious is an amazing card to get off of there. I wouldn't hate some more energy. With all of our upgraded basic cards, I think more energy is good because they're actually like worth playing. But Sozu and Mark of Pain are not fabulous. Mark of Pain is quite <laughs> painful. Um, I think I'm just taking the Rooting Pyramid. It makes our power throw a bit less good. Would love an upgraded True Grit, which is kind of a big ask. Get four upgrades. And I think we will.
the ink bottle and pyramid play quite nice together as well. Though, so, with the pyramid, I wish I had removed those cards. Maybe I should have saved my cleave there, actually. Um... Sucks having my hand full like this, but I think it's my best option. Yeah, these wounds are quite painful. You can see, yeah, Mark of Pain would have been annoying. Though, of course, with Mark of Pain, we would not have, uh, the runic pyramid situation. Alright, we're getting there. Slowly, slowly, we're getting there. Alright. Not too bad. Not great, not too bad. Bloodletting is fabulous with Runic Pyramid. Uh, we can't take the curses. We've got such good healing. Uh, it's basically just one upgrade that we're getting here, right, on the Searing Blow. Like, obviously there's other stuff, and they're all good upgrades. But um, I don't think it's worth it. So let's fight uh, a boss. Take 36 or no, as the case may be. Too bad. A prayer wheel. That's very funny. Uh, it's basically a, a complete nonbo. Hmm. I honestly don't hate these madnesses. Who are we fighting? Donu Decker. Don't hate the madnesses. We have good healing. We've got a couple of two cost cards. Well, really just one two-cost card that I wouldn't mind making free, but, like, even getting some random strikes and defends free helps quite a lot. Let's do it. It's not, it's not a great take, but it's fine. Uh, yeah, and let's fight these fools as well. Just take a little bit here. This is a bad madness. That's alright. Yeah, 
Yeah, maybe Madness wasn't a good pick, but I didn't love any of the others either. Yeah, this power through is going quite poorly with the pyramid here. Probably didn't need to play that actually. But we do full block. And there's the searing blow. Uh, I'll just... Just get my counters up a little there. Ginger, sure. Fine. We get a, a thing. Iron Wave Plus, eh. I don't think we want or need that. Oh no. One of these guys... Absolutely not. Another shrug is good though. I'll take another shrug. There's our heal. Thank you. Let us smith. How about? I don't know. Shall we say searing blow? This is dealing 144 plus 16. Uh, we can't kill the guys, which sucks. We are getting two more free heals straight away. I'm not fighting any more elites. Uh, all right. Let's do it. Let's take the damage. Does mean we're getting attacked next turn. I should have put that. I should have put that. That sucks, I can't hit that guy. But I can hit that guy. Alright, take 11 here. Still bad. Mistakes have been made, chat. Mistakes have been made. So we do get an energy back for our next attack. Shockwave is blocking for more than 16, is it? 25% less. What's 25% of 34? So 25% of 40 is 10, and it's a bit less than that, so 6 plus uh, like 7, 6 or 7, 12. So I think it's actually better to do it this way. Alright, well, we do take a bunch of damage again. Very unfortunate. Oof, rough fight. Very rough fight. Don't think I want that.
Maybe this is just the recall here. And unfortunately, we have to take whatever this is. Sapphire key, sure, that's actually... I mean, uh, whetstone. Skipping the, the whetstone is fine. Because we are doing okay for smiths. Do I want to smith my madnesses? They were, they were a mistake to take, but I think smithing them helps a lot. Glowing Tesseract. Take 10 here. I think so. Uh, except I have Busted Crown, so definitely not. Um, let's take the Swift Strike. Do I want a Chrysalis? That could honestly help us quite a bit. Bunch of zero cost skills. They're kind of bad skills, though. I, I'm such an idiot. I forgot. It, that, that was a really big mistake. I think that's worse than taking the Madness, was taking 10 for this here. Um, Chrysalis is useful against Dono and Decker, just because they fill up our hand with bullshit. Do have an oddly smooth stone, which makes skills a little bit better. Could be some draw, could be some block. They cost zero. I'm gonna, am I gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. Memes upon memes, chat. All right, seeing boat plus nine. We heal at the shop as well, which is nice. Um, unfortunately, I think I need to take out one of these guys to block here. Tell you what, let's use our skill pot. Uh, I'm actually going to do this. Headbutt seems very good for us. Hmm. That True Grit might be good. It helps a lot with our shitty power through situation. We could Smith it. We could get the Feel No Pain. We could also get Feel No Pain Med Kit. I mean, just Feel No Pain helps a lot with the current fight. Let's do this. Let's remove... Maybe the unupgraded madness? I'm not going to upgrade it, so let's do that. Oh, it does block for three now, but whatever. I think we want the medical kit as well. Smith the true grit. Seems good. Alright. strike away. Let's do that. We don't need that strike. Now do we headbutt the true grit here? Do we headbutt the Searing Blow? Headbutt the Searing Blow.
that's why we head about the steering blue. Playing that to get room in my hand, even though it might be nice to have here. These also let us draw, which is quite nice. We'll do that. I don't want to headbutt anything here. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd really like to draw the uh, Searing Blow next turn. And we did it! We have completed Ascension 17 version of the challenge and we did it with the searing glow. Very happy with that. Very glad I didn't take the rampage. It's been a, a weird meme run. Um, we've actually been pretty comfortable mainly because we had really good healing I would say. Uh, <laughs> look in for a penny in for a pound. Can I have another feel no pain please? Anybody? Anybody for another another feel no pain? Could take a, an energy pot. That's okay. We do often want to play a lot of cards. I'll, I'll do it. It's basically the only thing here. Left with one glod. Well, that's a good start. Bad start. Uh, but I think we can just kill here, if I'm not much mistaken. All right, perfect fight. Toy Onithopper in a flex pot. Battle trance is interesting. With the ink bottle and the shrugs, I don't think I want it. Uh but I think I prefer the strength pot and the energy pot over the flex pot. Yeah. Pretty bad there. not drinking this because I want to get the full five uh, health from it. 67. That's bad. This is interesting as well. We don't have the feel no pain in play, which makes playing these dramatically worse, because it means that we...
take three. Uh, but I think it's worth it to draw cards next turn. Alright, looks like we're boned here. Let's do this for starters. significantly boned, I would say. Yeah. I shouldn't be playing those because they're going to exhaust anyway. Exhaust that. And let's lose this game. All right, you can have one little swift strike as a, as a treat. All right, good game, everybody. Oh, we have a lizard tail. I forgot. I, I fully forgot about that. We, we did get that right at the start, didn't we? Did we not? Uh, I didn't need to play all of that, actually. That was probably a mistake, eh? Now we're dead. We can go down in a blaze of glory with max damage cap. Alright. GG. Still, got past Ascension 17. Not like this. Not too bad. Not, not the worst run of my life. <laughs> T technically a very silly run. Um, but it was fun. I think uh, I think it was good. All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video for Ascension 18.